What is ignimbrite? With a violent explosion on the slopes of the volcanic dome, first the cracks open and then a large cloud of very hot crumbs emerges from these areas. It is seen that this emerging cloud is moving at the speed of a hurricane, as if licking the ground. The hot parts in the cloud are so close to each other that no gradation occurs by weight. Therefore, blocks, lapilli and ashes are found in an irregular manner. In addition, due to the high temperature grains being very close to each other, welds occur in the parts where this temperature is maintained for a long time. When the hot clouds consist mainly of ash and fine lava droplets that are not yet solidified or semi-plastic, a special type of tuff with a genuine lava appearance and hardness occurs, which is called ignimbrite or welded tuff. Because, at the time of accumulation, very hot and chip-shaped parts are welded with each other and become flattened by the weight of the overlying material. The ignimbrites undergo a partial recrystallization during the subsequent outflow of the gases they contain at the time of their accumulation. Welded tufts show a thin lamination similar to the current banding seen in most lavas. In addition, due to the columnar and spherulitic structures they gain while cooling, the similarity to lava increases. Ignimbrites are composed of acid magmas. Pyroclastic rocks carry great economic measures because they are very suitable for the settlement of mineral deposits. There are three reasons why these are good shelters for mineralizations volcanic breccia and tufts are highly porous and permeable, they act as channels for mineralized melts, the cement and fine-grained glassy parts of pyroclastics composed of carbonate or other materials are more susceptible to alteration and metasomatic change than massive lavas. Them being. Although tufts and tuffets do not change in any direction, that is, they are pure and hard enough in their internal structure, they are suitable for all kinds of stone carvings due to their purity and porous structure, they are very interesting natural creatures with their different pastel colors and resistant to chemical and physical effects. Although they cannot be polished, since they are used by showing the characteristics of stone, they should of course be considered as marble. The value of tufts in construction has been understood in recent years. Their use at an ever-increasing speed is becoming widespread in all exterior and interior spaces. They are easy to be extracted from nature as logs and processed in stone workshops. This group is called decorative stones in the stone cutting and operating sector. In this respect, they are of great importance. Weld tufts, especially known as ignimbrite, both provide thermal insulation in buildings and add an aesthetic beauty to the building. It is known that the walls made with these rocks, which are called coik stone among the people, are quite economical and healthy compared to concrete walls. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for the continuation of YouTube videos, turn on notifications, like my videos and write comments on my videos.